Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video. Um, today I've got something a little bit different. Uh, but before we get started, I just wanted to shout out to all my current subscribers and say thank you guys all so much. I really, really do appreciate all of your interaction with the channel um, and uh, all your likes uh, and comments and um, just everything. You guys are awesome. If you are new to this channel... I am Dave the Watchman. I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman because I don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune. And if you do like that concept, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Liking and subscribing always does help out the channel, especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what I do here at Dave the Watchman on YouTube, Dave the Watchman on Rumble, and DaveTheWatchman.com where I showcase all of the watches that I do review here and provide affiliate links so you guys can head on over and pick them up and wear them for yourself. So, without further ado, let's get into this watch that I have for you today. It is a little bit different than some of the watches that I typically review. Um, and I did get some requests from uh, a couple of viewers asking me to pick up one of these watches. And honestly, to be honest with you, I was kind of um, skeptical as to whether or not I even wanted to get one of these watches because they kind of looked kind of cheap and um, hokey online. Um, so... I kind of put it off for a little while, but I ended up just saying, you know what, the heck with it. I saw one that kind of looked halfway decent. I said, you know what, I'm going to pick this thing up and I'm going to do a review on it. So let's get into this. This is by a company called Etor um, or Utor. And this is a, uh, a novelty type of a watch. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these online or not. Um, but they have the, the ball bearings inside, um, as opposed to the minute and the second hand. Um, I kind of, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with this watch. I, I did open the package a little while ago and I did take a quick look at it cause I was kind of curious. Um, and I'm going to have to say I am pretty impressed with the watch as a whole, um, I kind of thought that maybe it was um, when I saw these watches that maybe they put like a um, like a uh, something that looked like a ball bearing at the end of a second hand or a minute hand, um, but that's actually not the case here. Um, this this watch actually has ball bearings in there that are magnetic, and they actually attach to a magnetic arm, so it's it's actually kind of cool that. The ball bearing actually is loose in there until it catches the magnet, which is something that I thought was completely different because I thought it was maybe like a ball bearing glued to a hand that kind of went around and I was like, well, that's kind of cheap, but, but it's, it's, it's in a trench in there. And so the ball can't come out, but you can release it from the magnet itself. And then when, when the watch moves, obviously you can turn you turn the ball bearings so it, it is a really kind of cool conversation piece of a watch and guys i'll be honest with you it's better quality than what i thought it was going to be the only complaint that i would possibly have is the bracelet does feel kind of cheap a little bit and and the two-tone doesn't work for me i would rather have had it all been the titanium color um but all in all I'm going to have to say this is actually a pretty decent watch. And the price, I mean, the price on this thing is actually not bad. Uh, it's really, really good quality. And the price is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 60, I want to say $65 on Amazon right now. And I think there's actually even a coupon available on that listing as well. So you can actually save 5% off the price of this watch. Um, I will be posting a link to this in the description below so you guys can head on over and check it out. Uh, I haven't unwrapped it completely, so it does still have all the wrapping. It does have a butterfly clasp on it. Um, and the the band is, I would say it's acceptable. It's not the greatest band, but like I said before, I would have preferred a, a full titanium look for the whole watch would have been nicer. But honestly, you know, for $65, you save a couple of dollars on the coupon. Um, you can spend a few dollars on a bracelet to match it, but I'll have to say it's better quality than what I thought it was going to be. Um, my only other complaint that I would have is the bezel. I would have really have liked it to have an actual rotating bezel instead of the show bezel that it has on it. But 
all in all, guys, like I said, it's really good quality, solid, um, and it is definitely a conversation piece as far as, you know, having those ball bearings that kind of float around in those trenches, which is really kind of cool. And then they just, they catch wherever the, the marker is for the magnet. But it's a magnetic ball bearing watch. It's by the company Etor. Uh, it does come with the sizing tool in the kit, uh, in the in the watch uh, box. It also comes with a cleaning cloth um, and your instruction manual and uh, a brush, I guess, so you can clean out the inside in case you get anything in there. But... All in all, I mean, I'm going to have to say it's a great looking watch, a good conversation piece. It's um, it's just something that's unique and, and not not ordinary. So if you are interested um, in a watch like this that is unique and um, just doesn't break the bank, it's like I said, you're somewhere in the neighborhood of $60 all in for this thing. And um, it actually is water resistant. I just noticed that on the back. Um, that it is 3 ATM water resistant, so um, which is kind of odd to me because it doesn't have a crystal, but I guess it's all sealed underneath where that underneath where the trenches are. But yeah, you can you can see it right there, 3 ATM ATM water resistant. So it is a water resistant watch. Um, so you could use it swimming, um, and uh, yeah, I mean it's just it's just uh, I think it's just a really cool looking watch. I mean it's it it's you know i think maybe if they put a a crystal over it would be kind of cool but then i don't know that would take away the effect that you'd be able to to uh hit those ball bearings which is kind of a, a cool little concept there but anyhow nice looking watch uh definitely a conversation piece i got it because i was curious a couple of people had mentioned hey have you seen one of those magnetic watches and i said yeah you know what i'm thinking about getting one so here it is i just wanted to show everybody a magnetic watch with ball bearings um just a, a, a pretty unique watch so anyway again i'm dave the watchman i review budget friendly watches for the everyman because i don't think that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune and if you do like that concept please make sure you give that thumbs up like and subscribe especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what i do here at dave the watchman on youtube dave the watchman on rumble and DaveTheWatchman.com, where I showcase all of the watches I do review here and provide affiliate links so you guys can head on over and pick these watches up and wear them for yourself. So until next time, I am Dave the Watchman, and I will see you guys all in the next watch review video. You guys all have a great day.